I'll show you how to service your, uh, your vehicle and keep it nice and reliable. So the options we're going to be looking at is the uh, contacts and the condenser, the ignition timing, valve clearances and carburetor settings. Right, this next section is uh, carburetor and how to tune it. Now, there's one really important thing you need to check first uh, is the, the wear and the carburetor spindle. And this can be done by slightly opening the, the throttle and moving it from side to side. And what you'll observe is a lot of play between the, the mechanism and the body. Now this tells me that the spindle's worn. Now with a worn spindle, instead of pulling air through the carburetor, it's going to want to pull it in through the side there which is going to weaken your mixture. There is very little or no point in trying to tune a worn carburetor. Right, along with the uh, throttle spindle, there's a few things you need to check uh, firstly. One of these is the choke mechanism. Now if your choke mechanism doesn't work correctly, it's not going to shut the choke off. And you're going to have a too rich mixture. So what you need to do, just open the throttle, making sure the choke is closed as it is now. Put an ignition on on the vehicle and this will take two or three minutes. There's a little heating element inside here. Now this will heat a bimetallic strip which will open the uh, choke. And while you're waiting for that to warm up, there's a couple of other things you can do. You can check your idle solenoid. Now this is a uh, electromagnet. One way of checking your idle solenoids working is disconnect and reconnect the wire with the ignition on. You should hear quite a sharp clicking noise and that indicates that the solenoid is working. The other thing to check is the accelerator pump. Now you do that by opening the throttle and observing fuel being injected into the carburetor via the pump on the side. So you just get a small squirt of fuel and then you know that works fine. And by the time you've done these checks your heater should have warmed up and you can see now that the choke is actually in the open position uh, because as the engine would be running normally the engine would be almost to running temperature now and choke wouldn't be necessary. So to finish my name is Neil Oakley from caresofcrobra.co.uk if you have any questions then please email inquiries at caresofcrobra.co.uk Thank you.